Hi, this is Damien from Top 5 E-Bikes. Uh, you may have seen our earlier video uh, of the Ride One Up Roadster where I made it my mission to drain that 36 volt battery as quickly as possible, riding exclusively on the highest pedal assist level. Well, I've now ridden that bike 160 miles. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you the full review of the Ride One Up Roadster V2 um, so that you can decide if it's the right bike for you. The Ride One Up Roadster is a class three e-bike capable of speeds of up to 25 miles per hour. It retails for 1095 and sports a single speed drivetrain with no throttle. The Roadster is one of the most affordable e-bikes you're going to find at only 1095. It seems like Ride One Up was less interested in packing a lot of features into this bike, like fenders or a kickstand, and more interested in just delivering simplicity and exceptional ride performance. The Roadster does not come with a throttle, but it does have five levels of pedal assist. The LED screen is small and can be hard to see, which can be a bit distracting while riding. The seat is comfortable despite its small size and is built more for fast pedaling and not necessarily for a more upright style of riding. The Tektro Dual Pivot V brakes are nothing fancy, but they have surprisingly good stopping power. And in fact, I've ridden other e-bikes in this price range that have disc brakes, and I thought these perform equally as well, if not better. You have to remember, we're dealing with one of the lightest e-bikes on the market, so although disc brakes are nice to have, you probably don't really need them for this bike. Now let's talk about the ride performance of this bike. One of the things I enjoyed most about the Roadster was just how fast and nimble it felt, despite a relatively small motor. I've ridden several 500 watt e-bikes, but where other bikes top out at 20 miles per hour or less, like the Van Move or the Rad Mission, the Roadster very quickly hits speeds of up to 25 miles per hour. It's true there are other class three e-bikes that go 28, but honestly, you don't actually get many opportunities to ride 28 miles per hour on public roads. So in my opinion, 25 miles per hour is plenty fast for an e-bike. One of the most unique features of this bike is its belt drive and rear hub Shengi motor, which delivers 350 continuous watts and 500 watts of peak power. You usually don't see belt drives for this price range, but one of the things that's cool about a belt drive is that the force you exert through pedaling is more directly translated into the motion of the wheels and can propel you faster. Belts are just inherently more efficient than chains, and the 40 newton meters of torque this motor delivers makes this an extremely responsive bike that is very enjoyable to pedal. There's a lot to like about the Roadster, but we want to point out a few things that could deter a lot of consumers from buying this e-bike. Since it's a single speed, we wouldn't recommend the Roadster if you live in areas with a lot of steep hills. This is strictly a city or suburban bike for relatively flat areas. As we mentioned earlier, the Roadster doesn't come with any accessories, not even lights, which I think should be standard for an e-bike. It does come with a bell though, which is definitely a useful and low cost option that helps keep its price under $1,100. One of the first things I would do as a Roadster owner is to install an aftermarket kickstand because I've scuffed the frame numerous times by leaning it against rough surfaces, which is a shame because the paint job is so beautiful. So here are my thoughts on the Roadster. Um, number one, it's just a super stylish bike. It's a beautiful bike. Um, the alloy frame, um, the finish of the paint, um, those, those deep set dark wheels. Um, I think it's a really cool looking stealthy bike. Um, and it doesn't look like any bike because it's battery is concealed in the tube, right? So if that's important to you, if you want a bike that just looks like a bike, um, the Roadster's probably, you know, the perfect bike for you. Um, you know, it's super light, it's very easy to transport, it's easy to fit on regular bike hooks in your apartment or in your garage. Um, I like to travel a lot and, um, you know, I like to take my bike with me when I travel. This is a great bike to explore a new city in, right? Because what's, what better way is there to explore a new city like, um, you know, Seattle or Denver or, or Manhattan, right? This is like an urban riding bike. Um, it's perfect for, for that. So, I mean, let's talk about some of the reasons you might not like this bike, right? Um, it doesn't go 28 miles per hour. Um, that's important to you. You know, this is only a 500 watt motor. 
right? Um, it's not a heavy bike. It, um, it, you're not gonna put a rear rack on this, probably, right? You're not gonna put a child seat on this. You know, this bike only weighs 33 pounds again, right? You're not gonna really use that to lug groceries. Um, and it's not really the bike that you're gonna use to replace your second car, right? Um, so if those things are important to you, then don't get the Roadster, um, definitely. Um, I would say if you're like me, um, you know, for, for where I am in, in, in my life, I don't have kids, you know, I, I'm pretty mobile, I travel a lot. Um, you know, if you like to ride aggressively, right? If you like to, if you're the type of person that when you're riding bikes, you're kind of passing the people on the bike lane and, um, you know, you're doing like more urban riding. Um, you know, if you're the kind of person that really wants a bike to get in shape, this is the bike, right? It's going to get you in shape, right? No throttle, right? If you're looking for a bike with throttle, don't get this bike, right? But for, you know, probably I would say a younger, um, maybe more athletic person, this is the perfect bike, right? Because it's really more about just the joy of riding and being like closely connected to, you know, the pedaling and the motion um, and the efficiency that you get with that belt drive motor. Um, that this is why you would get the Roadster. So um, I love it. I'm going to keep it forever probably and, um, and ride the hell out of it. So thanks for watching. Uh, please leave us a comment, subscribe to our channel and keep an eye out for more awesome reviews. We've got uh, uh, a review of the KBO Hurricane coming up very soon. Uh, thank you. If you enjoyed this review, please subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment. Visit us at top5ebikes.com or some of our social media accounts. Thank you.